Hello, hello. How's it going, everybody? This is Etho, and we are back again, my friends, with another episode of the Terra Firma Punk. And your monitor is not broken. It's actually red. <laughs> we uh, left off last time during a blood moon. You see the moon's kind of red there, uh, which I thought was supposed to make like a whole bunch of mobs spawn and like have them spawn in your house and, and all kinds of crazy stuff. But honestly, it seems like it's just a regular night. Like, there's no mobs outside, hardly. I don't see any. But I guess we'll take a peek outside here. I, like, b barred myself up in the house and everything, too, just because I was worried. But I don't think anything out of the ordinary even happened. Now we got some mobs out here. Nothing... Nothing too crazy. Yeah, I think we're fine here. Okay. Uh-huh. So I was just checking out our quest book. Um... So right now our, our main quests are we gotta find jute, we gotta find milk, and we have to make an anvil. So I think we're gonna do the anvil one, uh, which requires a huge, massive deposit of copper. Right now our ores are all located here, and the one we have the most of is fellerite, which is zinc. Um, we have very little copper. Copper is the native copper, it's a tetrahedrite and melakite. All three of those are different forms of copper. But when you, when you melt them down, they make the same thing, basically. So we are going to journey out and try find a big copper deposit somewhere and dig it up. Um, I'm going to actually leave this behind, too. I know it doesn't belong there. I'll, I'll fix it later. <laughs> All right, let's take a little snack here. Go get your snacks, guys. And I think we're ready to go here. We want to find where we're going, though. So we've marked lots of different deposits in our waypoints. Maybe we'll go for this one here. 393 meters away. Oh, that one over there. Okay, let's go check that out. Do, 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 You guys are probably like, oh, Etho, you fool, your pick. Look at your pick. What are you doing? You're going to go mining with 137 durability? No, 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 no. We made a second one, guys. We're all good. <laughs> I almost forgot it, though. I, I, I'm not going to lie. I watched like 50 to 100 blocks before I turned around and grabbed it. Uh, but yeah, we're good. We're good. So what we're going to do now that we've made it here, we got to actually locate where the, the deposit is. So I saw some copper on the ground. Yeah, whenever you find these nuggets on the ground, they indicate that there's a ore deposit below. So since this is tetrahedrite, there's a tetrahedrite deposit underground somewhere nearby here not necessarily directly below these but nearby and if we check out uh absolutely oh we got a small sample okay so small samples not super exciting we want very large yeah there we go um once you find very large that's your sign that you should do some digging now randomly it will tell you that you found nothing of interest those are like false false negatives you, you want to ignore those don't look at them okay uh and i think the trick is oh i actually accidentally knocked that off the ground look for when it goes to like l not very large so over here is like one border of the of the deposit right why does it always say that okay yeah so around here it marks one edge of it and now we're gonna keep taking samples going this direction until we find the other edge, and then we're going to want to dig in like the center. So around here, it switches to small again. Medium. Yeah, so here's like the other edge. So somewhere in the middle, probably like around here, I would say. Let's, uh, let's just mark it with this, okay? So then you do the other direction. And try find the middle from this other direction. Oh, that, a little bit of a leg spike. We're all good. Don't panic. Okay, so over here is another edge. And then we check over here. Being a little bit frugal with the durability on our prospector pick here. And then about over here is another edge. Okay, so roughly, probably around here, I would say, is this the epicenter of the whole thing. So that's where we're going to dig down. And we'll see what we get. Oh, uh, actually, I think I see it. Oh, my goodness. That looks almost exactly the same. Do you guys even see it? Like, Because we're looking at it right now. <laughs> it is so subtle. Right here, rich tetrahedrite. This isn't. This is. 
you can barely tell the, the difference, right? Let's take our sample again. Uh, yeah, so it's still very large in this area. Uh, this is what we're looking for here. Oh, yeah, and it's rich. Oh, baby. Okay, that's the good stuff, guys. So it's either 15, 25, or 35 units. This is the max one. This is the, the juiciest of all the copper. So hopefully we can find quite a bit around here because then uh, we'll be good. Like, we need so much copper. Copper is like the base for everything. So you can never have enough of it. Um, then we're going to have to start setting up some supports as well, if I remember how to do that. It's like that. Yep. I kind of cheated. I looked it up before I started recording. <laughs> I don't have, like, a crazy good memory or anything. So we can't dig, um, where we have rocks above us, because there's a chance it will cave in on us. We also have to watch there's gravel, like, right there, uh, which will fall on us, too. So... We need to probably set up the supports around here. I think I think that's high enough where it'll work. So now, like, within four blocks of this, this beam, all around it can't cave in. Unbelievable, guys. Unbelievable. Would you look at this? This is the other thing about deposits. Like, sometimes you find them, and there's only, like, 20, 30 ore blocks, right? And they're, like, super spread out. Look how densely packed these are. Like, this is one, this is one, this is one, this is one. They're all together, and they're rich quality. This is like the the dream, the dream load of copper right here. And one durability left on this pick. So I think we're going to try to save that. Uh, in normal terraformer... Normal terraforma craft, I don't think there's any way to repair picks, but there might be in this mod pack. So it's probably worth saving. Alright, very good. This is, like, better than we could ask for, guys. This is so good. Uh, but we're going to get out of here for now. There's still lots left. We can come back later. But it would be irresponsible to stay longer. We're out of water. We're almost out of food. And it's just about nighttime. And we got to get back home here. So... Because if we sleep one more night here, we're going to run out of water and food, and then we won't be able to run. And it'll, it'll get nasty. <laughs> it will probably starve to death, too. Uh, whoa! Okay. Where's the sun at? Yeah, this is like the perfect time to leave. So we got two vessels full, so that's 64 each one. 128. Doing the math. That's 44 ingots worth of copper. So that's a lot. That'll last us quite a while. Which way is home? This way. Let's go. Okay, this is good. Uh, sun is setting right now. We just made it back home. We're going to do up 40 of these rich tetrahedrites. 40 times 35 is 1,400. So exactly 14 ingots worth of copper. And just so that we make use of the full oven here, we're going to make a couple of these these thingies as well. Alright, we gotta do this quick because mobs are gonna start sp spawning soon. Fill this up. Alright, and we keep the straw next to this. Fill this up, and then just a couple of logs. I think we still have eight on us. Oh yeah, perfect. Perfect, guys. Use our little gizmo. It missed. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, come on. Okay, this thing is slightly flawed, it seems. All right, we'll let that go. When we sleep and wake up, it should be uh, ready uh, in the morning here. We're nearly ready. It takes eight hours in game. Yeah, it finished. So now we gotta do the tricky thing here and try to cast all this stuff before it solidifies in the vessel. So let's take this and start casting it in these molds. All right, good stuff, good stuff. This is our last one. I've just been throwing them on the ground. I find that's actually the easiest thing to do. <laughs> so now that they're all cast, we can pick them up, throw them in a chest. I think I put a couple in here. Put them all together. And did we ever set up an anvil, a stone anvil? I don't think so, right? I guess that's what we got to do next. You need a stone anvil before you can make a, a copper one. Smooth diorite. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Basalt. Okay, we do have some. Excellent. I think we got that from a quest reward or something. 
but we can use this as our stone anvil, I believe. So we place that down. We got to get a hammer. Right click it, I think. Yeah, so that converts the stone block into an anvil, a stone anvil. Oh, did it unconvert? What's happening? This is so weird. Oh, wait, what just happened? Hammer time. What do I get that for? Oh, some somehow it worked that time. <laughs> I think I left click. So right click and then left click allows you to use it. I'm not sure. So that we put our hammer inside here. You see it on top of the anvil. Uh huh. We also need what's called flux. F L U X. Make sure you you hear that correctly. Uh, yeah, you get flux like that. You break down marble, or I think there might be some other materials you can use to get it. Um, oh, I converted again. What? Right click, left click. Right click, right click, left click. Right click. Okay, whatever. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that goes over there. All right, everybody, are you ready for this? We're going to do a refresh on the old uh, blacksmith minigame Terraforma Craft has. This is like the most complicated part of the whole mod. It's so tricky. I'm not just saying that. So the anvil allows you to weld two ingots together. Remember, we're trying to make this, the copper anvil. We need seven of these double ingots. And a double ingot is basically two regular ingots welded together using the flux. Um, if we just throw these two in here, like that, and we click weld, it doesn't happen. They have to be heated up to a welding temperature, is the other big thing. That's like the tricky part of all this. So they go into here, we got to heat them up. So let's start our fire. And certain types of uh, metals require higher temperatures, and that's what this uh, bellows is especially for. Although this can help us to get up to temperature a little quicker and right about now I think it's going to switch over to the welding temperature yeah so you see it says can can work can weld that's the minimum temperature now at bright red three stars where we can weld copper together uh, we want to go as high as possible on the heat though before we take it out otherwise it's gonna like cool down right away and we won't be able to work oh danger is kind of like where you want to take it out okay so now we put these in Oh, we, d we don't have to do this mini game thing? I thought we did. I guess that's when we're working them, not when we're welding them. Okay, welding is actually easy. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, let's let's get through this then. I thought we had to like do the mini game. I guess not yet. Well, in that case, as soon as it's weldable here, we'll probably want to take it out. Like right about there is good. We don't have to get all the way up to the super temperature. We still have ingots in the fire. If we sleep, I assume this keeps running, right? Maybe we'll do one more batch real quick here. Like we can't, we can't just stay up during the night. We let all the torches go out on our hill here, so mobs are going to be spawning. Maybe we uh, do these last two real quick. Okay, now we're going to sleep. We left two in the fire. We'll see what happens to them. They might. Just melt? I'm not sure. Or the fire might go out. Or nothing will happen. They'll just be there. Okay. Last two. Cool. So we got seven double ingots now. Another thing you can do with this, like, uh, we can't use these for crafting just yet when they're warm. So you can put them in water to cool them down quicker. And it, like, consumes the water. So now it's, like, totally cooled down. And they'll stack together. Uh-huh. And now with that, we got seven of these things. So that is our copper anvil. Woohoo! Oh yeah, and it's heavy, so you can't walk around once you craft it. <laughs> Unless you carry it on your back. Which is kind of strange. But once you get your copper anvil, you're done with your stone anvil. You need stone to make copper, which is like the first tier metal. Then you need a copper anvil to make bismuth bronze anvil, which is like the second tier. And then bismuth bronze to make the iron anvil. And there's like five or six different tiers of metal. Okay, so let's let's pop this baby down. Uh, yeah, maybe over here. Cool. Oh ho ho ho! Wait a minute here. So checking out the book, we uh, finished this one. So we're gonna get 
Uh, four pieces of peat, a full heart, an iron ninja, and we get to choose one of these things. I think we'll go for the scythe because we use those very quickly. But now look at this. It doesn't want bismuth bronze. It wants just regular bronze. Oh, oh, maybe it wants any of the forms. Okay, so there's multiple tier two metals, not just bismuth bronze. Uh, there is regular bronze, there's bismuth bronze, and there is rose gold is another option, I believe which is copper and gold to make this. This is the ratio. Uh-huh. So we'll probably go with bismuth bronze if it'll let us. Yeah, it is one of the options. Okay, good. Good, good. Uh, but maybe for variety's sake, let's do some other stuff this episode as well. Even though we have a lot of metalworking to do, I think uh, we'll try to do more next episode. I want to try to do a bit of decorating because we got a lot left to do on this house and the outside and all that to make it look good. So this is new. We got this today. New type of uh, cobblestone, phyllite, is that how you say it? Phyllite? Something like that. <laughs> thought it looked pretty good though, so we'll try use that for the ground for like a path material. I think it's a nice contrast. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's see, so I was thinking in the future here, there'll be a bridge to go across here. So let's plan to run the path there. And we don't want it perfectly straight either. That's never good. So we'll have it curve a bit. Okay, looks like we weren't able to make a lot of it. But uh, when we go for copper again, we'll get more of this stuff. Uh, but we we're able to make a bit of a path at least. I think that looks pretty nice. Now we got a bunch of dirt from digging that up. And I'm going to expand out this way a little bit. And hopefully, I think that should turn to grass over time. Got to make sure we don't make it so mobs can get up though. That's really important. Yeah, but we'll expand that out, and we still have a couple of these uh, cranberry bushes left. I thought they would look nice as decoration. As we get more, we can add more. But I wanted them, like, uh, coming out here. Oh, can we not? Ooh, they got to be planted on grass, don't they? Okay, we'll have to wait for that to spread. Kind of want one here, here, and here. Mm-hmm. So I was doing some chisel work on our forge here to try and make it look a little bit better, a little rounder, so these, like, three pieces weren't there before. Uh, so it's got a nice curve to it, but it looks like it's front-heavy, like it's going to fall, right? So I'm trying to think what to do to make it look maybe a little bit better. So this is how we do it, by the way. We can uncompress cobblestone to these rocks, these marble rocks. Then we can take our chisel, turn them into bricks, and then you take five bricks or something. I think it's five. And you take the mortar, you make it with like gravel or sand and water. Like so. We get these marble bricks. I think I'm going to add two here. I'm going to add like a bit of a front to this thing so it doesn't look like it's floating like that. And I got some fences. I think we'll stack these up to two. And then let's I, ju I just added this. I'm going to break it. <laughs> uh, get rid of it and make it come forward like this instead. How's that going to feel? I think that looks cooler, right? Something like that. Uh, but we can curve it as well. Try and make it nicer. So we take our chisel again. What if we just take those two out? And with a little bit more shaping here, we ended up with this uh, goofy little roof to the, the forge. But I think it looks better than what we had, so I'm happy with that. I also hollowed out like underneath here a bit. So that's cool. As long as we keep making little improvements to our base like this, it's going to look really good in the end of things. So it, it's important we keep doing it. Uh, I saw there is a quest actually for making fences. We just need to make 10 fences, which is pretty simple. That's an easy one. And we're going to add some fences around the place here, too, um, to try spice spice up our base a bit more, add some more details. So where's our saw? I accidentally hit the button that like reorganizes your inventory, so everything's out of place now, and I don't know what, what I did with stuff. Oh, I, I guess we only need eight logs, right? Yeah. Okay, so that gives us six fences each. That'll do the quest. We can get Aspen, Douglas fir, or Oak. I'm going to go with Oak because it's more expensive. Cool. Oh, these ones are ones we've done already. Long ago tool rack. Yeah. Uh, we'll take the bismuth. Yeah. And we made a door a long time ago. Oh, this is great. Getting lots of stuff done now. Most likely to use cyan. Beds for birds. I think we did make that, didn't we? Maybe not. 
I've never managed to use one of those before. <laughs> there's a way you can like get the the pheasants or something to sit in them, I think, or there's chickens, and I've never found a chicken or something. And they'll like lay eggs in it. Okay, that's cheap too. Let's do that. Real quick here. There's three of those, and we got some sycamore. Cool. Let's pop that down. Uh, I don't know. Oh, I can't even place it there. Let's put it there for now. Okay, one more quest done. Nice and easy. Oh, there, there's one for making a bed. We did that too. Yeah, we got to be careful about like not doing the quest because if we if we don't do them for a while, they're gonna pile up like this. Oh, creosote. That could be good. I'm gonna take that actually. Cool. Birds and the bees, really? It wants us to do forestry already? Okay, that was really good, actually. We almost got this whole left side of the page done. This right side of the page, I'm guessing, is going to be, like, all metalworking stuff, while this left side is more, like, survival stuff. Uh, I put some of those things away, though. Uh, I wanted to put the fences here, so let's get those down. Just see what they look like. Something like this. I'm going to put more, one more block here. How's that? Yeah, it's kind of cool, right? Maybe, maybe not so much. Maybe we'll get rid of a couple of these. How about that? Sure. Sure, why not? Okay, so let's open up this bag, see what we got. More wood. And let's see. So the, the grandstand was an easy one as well. This is for 16 pieces of wood. We have, we have enough here, right? Go for those three. We'll take these. Good. So if you get like leather armor and stuff, you can actually put uh, on the armor stands here. These were added like before armor stands were in the real game. <laughs> and uh, I thought that was kind of interesting. Like this was an idea from TerraFormacraft originally, I think. And then they added it to, to vanilla. Cool. Actually, let's test it out. We do have leather armor. I don't think I've ever actually used one of these. Like from TerraFormacraft. That's cool. All right, good stuff. So that is another quest done in our book here, another easy one. And it gives us a full heart as a reward, so that's cool. We don't have either of these three. I'm most likely to use the purple one, though, I think. Yeah, so let's, let's take our heart. That brings us up to seven lives, guys. We have two more than when we originally started, so we're doing good on the survival aspect of this pack and check this out i guess we actually have carpenter blocks in the the mod pack it's a good thing i saw this before i did the roof on this place because we probably will end up using them actually carpenter blocks are very nice so let's see let's make a few of these we, st we still got more sycamore right sycamore is like our garbage wood but there's lots of it around because there's a whole forest of it so i try to use those over any other type of wood first if we can all right, and it doesn't matter what type of wood, what type of wood we use to make these, as in like the the results are all going to be the same. So we want to use our our cheap garbage wood, if that makes sense. <laughs> all right, cool. So we got those, made a bunch of them, and it gives us a flower pot. Oh man, so fancy! Look at this, guys. Are you ready for this? Bam, and bam. Ah, really? Do we have to fill it first? What do we fill it with? How do we fill it? Let's put dirt. We'll have a dirt flower pot. No, it doesn't go in there, really. Mm. I don't know if I've used these flower pots before. I kind of assumed it would work with all the vanilla flowers. Let's see. You can put reeds in flower pots, right? Normally? Let's try that out. No. Hmm. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, let's see what else we got here. So that's done. It wants us to make the wedges, which is this, the carpenter blocks with more sticks. Cool. We got a bunch of slants. It's going to give us carpenter tiles as a reward. I don't remember what these are. Oh, is this like a general carpet? That could be nice. Then you place a block inside or not? No? It shows the carpenter hammer, so we probably need that to do it. 
Oh, I can't, I can't remove these now. Uh oh. Well, that's our new carpet, guys. <laughs> oh snap! Okay, I'm guessing the hammer requires iron, so we probably can't make it for a while. Let's check it out. Iron or oh, we could use bronze too. Okay, it's doable. Oh yeah, check this out. So it is actually added to our quest book now too. We gotta make the carpenter's hammer and chisel. But we're gonna do this trap door one next. Let's just check on our metal. Okay, it's almost at the point where we gotta panic. <laughs> uh, I think it says bronze trap door, but it shows the copper trap door as one of the options. So we're gonna try to do that one and just see if it works. Uh, so it's gonna require three of these ingots and we're gonna do some of the fancy uh, metal working I, I was talking about. So first we gotta weld two of these together and now we have to beat it into a sheet. I don't quite remember how that works. I know we got to line the green arrow down at the bottom here with the red one. Oh, we need a recipe too, don't we? Oh yeah, we got to select what we're doing. So we want to make a sheet. That's what it is. So now it puts the red arrow over here. And we got to try line it up. And we have to... Oh. See, I don't quite remember how to do this. <laughs> Uh, hit last, hit second from last, hit different last. I think we have to hammer. I don't even know what I did there, but somehow I did it. I wasn't even paying attention, really. Get it to the working temperature. Uh, let's see. Let's check out the trap door recipe. Oh, trap door. Yeah, we're, we're trying to make this here. So it's, an, it's a copper sheet and copper ingots. Okay, so that's what we're doing. Kind of at the point here where we can work it. Yeah, let's take it out now. Okay, so we got to put that here and here. Select it from the plans as a trap door. So it says hit last, shrink not last, upset not last. So hammer, shrink. No, I totally forgot how this works, guys. I'm sorry. Upset, shrink hammer oh yeah so you see now they line up these three we got to match the top with the bottom and when when they match the green arrow has to line up with the red one so it's really hard to do so we hammer a shrink and then do a heavy hammer oh see so we almost got it there they almost lined up but it's not quite right so that's kind of the idea and meanwhile, while you're doing that, the metal is cooling down, and if you're not quick enough, you have to throw it back in the fire <laughs> so that you can work it again. Uh, so I just reheated it. Let's select it from the plans again. It kind of remembers where you left off, though, thankfully. So I think we got to start pretty far to the left of the red arrow here. Let's try over here. So our first step is to upset again. Hit upset. We have to shrink. And now we have an option of which of these hammers to hit. So if we want a light hit, we can do that, medium or heavy. Since it's pretty far to the right of the red arrow, I think we're going to go for a heavy hit. And it's still too far to the right, so we need to go even further back, like maybe over here. Okay, let's try again. Sh upset, shrink. Now I'm going to go for a medium hit, see if that lines up. No, not quite enough. But pretty close. Let's maybe start here. Yeah. Oh, and it's cooled down again, so we got to reheat. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, and then when you're trying to spend days working on this this stupid trap door, you know, you got uh, you got your food to worry about, you're starving to death slowly, and you got your animals to take care of in Terraformer Craft, and... Oh, we got it there. Look at that. And everybody in the comments are ragging on you to finish your house, so you got all these priorities to balance out. And that's kind of what I like about TerraFirmaCraft. Like, there's not a lot of video games out there where you have multiple goals that you need to work on. And you can't just, like, focus on doing one of them. Because if you do, if you spend days on, on your metalworking, you're going to starve to death, right? Or your animals are going to not love you anymore if you neglect them. <laughs> or your crops are going to grow and freeze if you don't if you don't harvest them. You know, there's all this stuff. Um, and I think that's really cool. I think these are ready. Yeah, they're mature. That's crazy. We just planted these. 3rd of April. 
That's springtime. Okay, so we're going to get multiple harvests, actually. Green beans. Yeah, I know green beans are always ready really quickly. These are like one of the super crops in, the, in Terraformer Craft. This is good, though, because we were just about out of food. So it's nice we're going to get a little bit of a springtime crop in. Now, when we harvest these, we can't just replant them in the same area or they won't grow as quickly. So we got to find a new spot now for these. And I don't think our carrots are ready. Carrots aren't ready. Peppers look like they might be. Yeah, okay. And soybeans, 96%. Okay, soybeans are really good because they get protein. Uh, and wheat takes a long time to grow. You see over there, it's not even close to done. So, yeah. I found, uh, I guess we did our crops over here the year before, I think. We have a patch here. So maybe we'll plant these seeds here now instead. So that they'll have more nutrients. And with that, guys, I think we're pretty much out of time for this episode. So we should wrap up here. Add this to our food. So we were down to this. There's like 16 ounces of sugar cane, 60 ounces of apples, and uh, 80 ounces of, of grain. And then we were out of food for the winter. <laughs> so if we didn't get a crop until fall or something, like we wouldn't have had enough. So that's, that's good we got that already. Let's try out the trap door too. I'm curious. Maybe we'll just use this button for now. I think we can get this back if we place it, right? Oh, it can go on the wall. Does it? Oh, it's a... Uh, like that okay so it doesn't re react to redstone i don't think we can get it back yeah okay cool interesting yeah let's uh hand this in it did count okay so we were allowed to use a copper we kind of cheesed it and i know we have one piece of soul sand already so i'm gonna go for the blaze rod it's probably our best choice there cool cool all right, guys. Well, hopefully you enjoyed today's episode. Thank you for watching, as always, and I'll see you again in the next one. Take care. Have a good day. Bye-bye.